Hi, this is Mr. Bullock, uh, and we're going to solve uh, one-step inequalities in this quick lesson. Yeah, so let's begin. Okay, uh, we're going to solve each inequality and then graph our solution set, and we'll go over in detail each one. Here's uh, number one. Whoops, I already showed the work right there. It's just like solving equations, you guys. So you have that inequality, x minus 6 is uh, greater than negative 3.5. So just like solving equations, you'd add 6 to both sides. And so when you add 6, uh, the 6s will cancel. And you get x is greater than, than 2.5. Then go ahead and make a number line. And then on the number line, you guys, um, uh, this inequality, as long as you have the variable on the left, the inequality tells you which way to point. And since there's no little equals bar down here, it's just greater than, then this is going to be an open circle. And I, I think you're aware of that. I think you've seen this before. So I'm going to go ahead and put an open circle at 2.5. So I did the scales. I just counted them by twos. So here's one, here's two, here's three. So 2.5 is right there in the middle. Open circle. And again, this arrow tells me which way to shade. So as long as the variable is on the left, then it shades that way. And so there it is shaded. Okay, let's try another. Okay, this one's negative 8, less than or equal to 8 plus y. Just like solving equations, you'd subtract off the 8, this 8 right here. Okay, and then um, when you do that, uh, I get negative 16 on the left-hand side. Uh, less than or equal to, I should have crossed these 8s out, but this 8 would cross out that negative 8 right there. And then uh, I like to have the variable on the left-hand side, so I'm going to flip it around. And, and when you flip it around, you guys, it flips the inequality around also. So notice it's pointing at the 16 right here, so just make sure that it's still pointing at the 16. Okay, and this is greater than or equal to, you guys. So here's my number, my number line. And i got to have a scale that's going to fit uh, negative 16. So what I did is I put 0 way over here, and I counted these scales as 2. So this is negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, and so on. So uh, greater than or equal to, so this is going to be a solid circle on negative 16. And as long as your variable, the letter, is on the left, then the arrow tells me which way to shade, so it's telling me to go that way. All right, here's number three. Don't let fractions fool you, you guys. Uh, negative, or negative one and one third, less than or equal to p minus eight and one third. Gonna go ahead and add out the eight and one third, and the one thirds will cancel. Uh, and you get uh, seven on the left, uh, less than or equal to p. So I'm gonna flip it around. So remember, it's still pointing at the seven, so make sure it's still pointing at the seven when you flip it around, and that way it tells you which way the arrows go. There's my number line. And to fit it in, I put 0 over here this time, and then uh, and then seven's way up here. So it's a solid dot on 7, and it goes that way, because the arrow tells me to. Okay, easy, huh? Here's number 4. Okay, x over 4 is less than 5. Okay, just like solving equations, when it, if it was x over 4 equals 5, you would multiply both sides by 4. So go ahead and multiply both sides by 4, and you get um, uh, x is less than 20. Okay, here's my number line, and I, what I did is I made my scales go by 5s, you guys. So here's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. Okay, and same this way. This is five, ten, going by 5s, but negatives. Okay, open circle, because it's just less than. Open circle on 20, and it tells me to go that way. Okay, here's number 5. Negative 6x is less than 18. All right, just like solving equations, we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 6. But whenever you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, see this negative? When you multiply or divide by a negative, what happens is, is it flips that inequality in the other direction. And you still get the same answer. x is uh, greater than negative 3. But just remember, multiplying or dividing by negative, uh, it flips your inequality. Okay, so there's my number line. There's the appropriate numbers I can fit negative 3 on, no problem. Open circle shaded to the right. Okay, number 6. Um, uh, let's see, I'm going to multiply both sides by, uh, on this one, negative 6. Uh, remember, when you multiply or divide by negative, it flips that inequality. So here it goes flipping that way. So it's going to go that way. And then uh, I get x is uh, less than negative 42. Okay, this time I made my, so I can fit my 40s in there, I made my scale go by 10s. Here's 10, 20, 30, 40. That way I can fit in uh, negative 42. And, it, you know, there's negative 42 approximately. And when, when it's not on a tick mark like we've had it right here, 
We could have. We could have made the scales by six, and that would have got it. But if it's not on a tick mark, go ahead and write the number right above so we can tell what it is. Okay, and it's going to the left. All right, and that's it.